how's it going? I'm Sadie Newman. For those of you who don't know me, I am going to be the Executive Vice President for Scripps PR SSA this year. I'm going to be a senior. I don't know how that happened. So I'm a Journalism Strategic Communications major. Um, I am specializing in global leadership and then also world religion. So that's a little bit about my background. And this summer, um, I am interning at Falgren Mortide in their Cleveland office. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. So I started off the internship application by just applying online. Um, I was in charge of the external update last year, so I kind of um, had a good feel for when the Falcon Mortine internship was going to be coming out. Um, so when it did, I just filled it out online. Um, and then a couple weeks later, I think it was, um, I ended up getting a call, and I had an in-person interview. So then the following week, I took a day off from class, and I drove up to Cleveland and had an in-person interview, um, which was really great. Um, got home and immediately sent them thank you cards, which I find is very important. Um, so make sure if you're applying for internships and things that you're doing that. Um, definitely sets you apart. And then I t was told that I was going to hear back about a week later and ended up that I heard back the next day that I had gotten the position. Um, I had a couple days to think about it, which was good because I had been applying other places and interviewing other at other companies and was all moving so fast all of a sudden, so um, I took those three days and thought about my options and decided to go with Falgren Mortine, which was a great decision because I'm loving it. Um, so I didn't, I'll talk a little bit about re my relocation. Um, I didn't really relocate far. I'm from about an hour south of Cleveland, but I definitely needed to move to downtown or around downtown so I wouldn't be um, so far and have such a long commute. So that was a pretty um, simple move, I guess, but it was definitely a little bit different than staying at home for the summer and interning there. So I'm um, learning a little bit more about what that experience is like. Um, I'm not super far away from home, but it definitely um, changes your perspective of how you live your life. I live with um, someone who I don't know very well, so I kind of have to make sure that I'm keeping up on all my responsibilities. So another tip is that make sure you're keeping up with all of your responsibilities and things um, during the summer while um, maintaining that internship life. So my position is a client engagement intern and I work on many different accounts. Um, one of the reasons why I decided to go with Falkern this summer is because they have a lot of tourism clients, which really interests me. I really like tourism and travel, and I wanted to learn about agencies. So combine those two things, and you've got Falkern more time. So I work on a lot of tourism accounts. For example, um, the state of North Dakota tourism. I do things for the Theodore Roosevelt um, National Library and Museum. Um, I do different things for a group called uh, the Palladium Resorts, and they have hotels all around Mexico. So I've done a bunch of different projects for them along media relations and social media content creation, um, just to name a few. So it's definitely been good getting some agency experience. So if you are interested um, in trying to decide between agency and corporate or, um, I mean, just or even public affairs or whatever, I definitely recommend having a, um, intern an internship that is an agency so you can kind of get the feel for what that might be like. Um, I've definitely learned that it's very fast-paced, so if you like working in a fast-paced environment, this could be for you. So yeah, that's pretty much my summer so far. I've been really enjoying it, and I will be sure to keep you guys updated. And if you have any questions along the way, um, feel free to reach out to me. So yeah, have a great rest of your summer. I'll see you guys in July. Mm -hmm.